Hola, hola, por fin tenemos aquí otra vez a Sherlock Holmes. Pensaba que le iba a dar un yello a mi portátil cada vez que abría un juego. Ahora mismo, incluso el ventilador lo tengo dándole al portátil, dándole el, el, el viento, yo me estoy asando. Por... Porque no quiero que se caliente. Vale, se supone... Vamos dentro. Eh, bags of seed. Some empty bags were recently moved. Uh -huh. Gancho. This hook might be useful. Muy bien. Eh, creo que ya. No hay nada, ¿no? This old suitcase sounds hollow. It must be empty. Small gardening tools, nothing of great interest. Mm, pues ya tengo el gancho. Ya puedo hacer algo con el gancho. Vamos a ver qué podemos hacer. Botón de correr. ¡Shu! ¡Shu! Abrimos el pozo. Inspeccionamos el interior del pozo. A ver qué hay aquí. Glittering at the bottom there. But how can I reach it? Con un gancho y una cuerda. Eh. If only I had something with which I. Ha. Y aquí están las cucharas que se supone que robaron. Vaya, vaya, vaya. Vaya, vaya, vaya. ¿Qué tenemos por aquí? The Brackenstall coat of arms. It appears that we have found the stolen silverware. Las mentiras tienen las patitas, mi cuerpo. Mm. A ver Robo fingido Ha sido fingido el robo Señor Eustaz Fue asesinado por una persona que estaba de visita esa noche Fue él quien ató a Lady Buckerstall Es alto fuerte la persona que estaba de visita esa noche era probablemente un marinero. Busquemos al marinero, pues. Busquemos al marinero. ¿Dónde lo puedo buscar? En la calle. En la calle, ¿cierto? Street. Tengo contactos. Me hace mucha gracia que estoy leyendo un libro que se llama igual que el título del juego. Chan, chan. Let's go. Hola, Watson. ¿Cómo estás? What should we do next, Holmes? Brave no lo Toby. Sé. Aquí está la mujer. Sí, todavía está aquí. Escape. ¿Dónde podemos encontrar a un marinero? Información de un marinero. Oh. ¿Un periódico? My search must be focused upon the ship's name and year of voyage. Esto, okay. 
tengo que buscar en 93. Aquí. La década del Rock of Gibraltar. La Roca de Gibraltar. El regreso de un navío. La Roca de Gibraltar, un carguero de la línea Adelaida Southampton, Londres. Edificio Cunard, James Street, Londres, ha vuelto de su viaje de seis meses con escala en la India, Nueva Zelanda y Australia. El buque transportaba a Inglaterra a la señorita Mary Fraser, heredera de la familia Fraser, propietaria de tierras y niñas de estaño en Australia. Esta joven dama de gran belleza, según nos consta, está comprometida con Sir Eustace, Brackenstall, uno de los hombres más adinerados de Kent. Here it is. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. The shipping company, the Adelaide Southampton London Line. And its address. Interesting. It must be the place where they keep the records, including the one for the crew of the Rock of Gibraltar. Gibraltar. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard, they'll give it to you without any problems. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. Buena idea. Llamemos a los especialistas. Porque aquí no hay teléfono. O sí. Watson, I need Wiggins. Is he anywhere nearby? He's right across the street. You can give him a sign from the window. Oh, gracias. Yo estaba buscando un teléfono. Llamamos. Ah, At your service, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> I need a register, my young friend. If you could borrow it, there will Comillas. be half a Comillas. guinea for every one of you. I need the crew list of the Rock of Gibraltar in 1893 and their current employment. I'm straight on it, Mr. Holmes. Yay. Do you really think they'll find it, Holmes? My secret police is better than the Yard in many ways. Tres horas más tarde. Here it is, Mr. Holmes. But we can't take it back. It's too risky. Oh. Put it on the table. I'll take care of it. Good work, young Wiggins. <laughs> Let's see. Veamos, veamos. ¿Qué mesa? Hay muchas mesas, Mr. Holmes. This list shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which Lady Brackenstall and her maid made their voyage. Lady Brackenstall does not know anyone in England. This must mean that someone on this list is our mysterious visitor. And these are the lists of the senior officers of the Adelaide Southampton London Line ships. Let us find out who was in London upon November the 7th. Mm -mm. 7 de noviembre. 7 de noviembre. 10 de noviembre. Mayo. Uh, aquí. Yeah. Uh, This mira, officer mira, mira. was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. Okay. Aquí no está. Muy bien. Este Mr. Tampoco Jack todo. Crocker was in London upon the date of the crime and he is due to depart in two days. Hmm.
Tomás Juanque. Uy. Erne. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Herbert. I do not think that this sailor has any connection to the case. Pero si está aquí en la lista, oh bueno. Ah, mira, This William officer está aquí. was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. Otro tachao. Muy bien. I do not think that this sailor has any connection to the case. Oh, he said we... Esto es loca. Esto es loquita. Jack. Mr. Jack Crocker was in London upon the date of the crime, and he is due to depart in two days. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Quedan Henry Jack. This officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Pilleta, no que Jack. Captain Jack Crocker is our mysterious visitor. He was the only one around at the time of the murder. No es que de Jack. Pues ya está. Tenemos que buscar a Jack. Y de Titanic no. This Crocker, <laughs> do you think? It would be interesting to meet him. Our young friend should be able to find him. Busca marineros sospechosos. Completado. Bueno, mi niño. ¿Qué tal? ¿Vas a hacerme el favorcito? Wiggins, could you find a way to bring this Captain Crocker Uy. here to us? Here? Holmes, that could be dangerous. No problem, Mr. Holmes. Algún tiempo después... Mr. Holmes, I was informed <laughs> that you were looking for me, and I'd like to know why. <laughs> yes, it is important that we talk. You will soon understand why. Lady Brackenstall. You are acquainted with Lady Mary Brackenstall, are you not? Brackenstall. Yes, I think I do remember her from when I was first officer, but I still don't see... It seems your relationship went beyond that of the passenger <laughs> and first officer. How dare you! Indeed, how reckless a feeling is love, particularly if one is prepared to commit a murder in its name. Explain yourself this instant! You are aware that the murder made the headlines of the morning press. You read the newspaper report, mm -hmm. but to your dismay, found it much fabricated. Once you learned that I wanted to see you, you came straight away. You needed to know what I had found. You... Por what eso do you tan rápido. That evening, you were with Lady Brackenstall, despite the danger. <laughs> I'm not afraid, Mr. Holmes. Besides, all of this is just guesswork. You would be right if there was no evidence. What then? Hmm. Observemos. Este hombre. Mirada limpia, honesto. Barba muy larga y rara. Eh. Constitución fuerte. Lo puede haber matado perfectamente. ¿Anillo? Nada. No tiene anillo. Tinta de periódico. ¿Y los zapatos? Botas limpias. Me he saltado algo. Ah. Cuchillo marinera. La Lady Brackenstall was tied to a chair on the night of the murder. And it was you who tied her up. <laughs> You call that evidence? Tengo la prueba. 
Nudos marineros. Yes, as she was tied with a sailor's knot. Your handiwork. So, it's a sailor who's done it. That proves nothing, Mr. Holmes. <laughs> not the only sailor in London right now. Your theory is flawed, anyway. On the night of the murder, I was aboard the Sharp. I was supervising the repair of a porthole. That mm. night, it was an emergency. There was a leak. You can ask the ship's carpenter. He can confirm. I'm sure that he can. <laughs> Perfect. In that case, we have nothing more to talk about. Good evening, gentlemen. Holmes, what should we do now? Would you like to check his alibi? No. There is no doubt that these men will testify no. in his favor, and there will be no way to check. No so, problem. what then? So, we must work with what we have. We have all the puzzle pieces. Now I understand why you dissected the bell. <sighs> Okay. Crocker miente. Su implicación está clara. Acudió tan pronto como supo que él estaba buscando lo que señala su culpabilidad. El capitán Crocker estaba a bordo de esa pena noche de asesinato. No tuvo miedo de enfrentarse a mí. Estaba confiado. El asesino es el capitán. Sir Eustad fue asesinado por una persona que le está visitando esa noche. El asesino es alto, ágil y probablemente un marinero de alta graduación. Arrestar al capitán. Ya creo que es un asesino. Y le llevarás junto a su cómplice ante la justicia. El asesinato fue cometido en defensa propia. Ya creo que defendía a una mujer ante un hombre violento y dipstómano. El misterio queda resuelto, pero decides guardarte el secreto. No hay necesidad de informar a la policía. ¿La absuelvo o lo arresto? Voy a arrestarlo primero y luego absorberlo. Eh, para ver los dos finales. Sí. Wiggins, could you ask Mr. Crocker to come here again, please? Right away. Right away. Why did you make me come here again, Mr. Holmes? It is over. I know that it was you who killed Sir Eustace Brackenstall. What? I know, because of the height at which the rope was cut. The knife used was a sea knife. The knots were sailors' knots. And not least, the sheer force that was put behind the killing blow. And because you are the only one who knows Lady Mary Brackenstall in London. And because you love her. It's true. It is time for you to tell us the whole truth. I admit that I loved Mary madly from the first day that I met her. But I never did come to visit her. For I believe that she was in a happy household. When I talked to her maid who told me everything, I was insane with rage. I was due to set sail for six months away. I wanted only to see her again. But it turned into a damnable nightmare when he barged in. He dared mm. raise his hand to her. He! He was not even worthy of licking her boots. Oh, I regret <laughs> nothing. I admit I killed a monster out of love for her. She will forgive me if she is able. Lady Brackenstall already forgave you. She said nothing. Mary! But that oh, makes her an accomplice as well as her maid. It places her in danger yet again. <laughs> Mr. Holmes. You would not have managed to protect her. Till I die, do you hear me? Here is a letter mm. that sets everything clear. And it is the one that should be disclosed to the police. I am the only culprit. Es Mary had nothing to do with it. Now it is time to end this. I feel okay. Hey no! Hey no! Hey no! 
No, 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 no. ¿Qué hace usted, señor? ¿Qué hace usted? Por favor, delante de mí, sacar una pistola. How can I live if Mary suffers? I am sorry, ah, iba, Captain Crocker, matar, sí. but there has been quite enough death in this case. Inspector, I give you Sir Eustace's killer. He tried his best to perform his own justice. Well, I'm not surprised. Yes, it was me. I confess. Here is a piece of evidence that can be used in court. Perfect. A case that went smoothly for once. Sir, usted fue asesinado por el Capitán Jack Crocker que estaba visitando a Lady Birkenstall aquella noche. Especificaron un robo en la casa de la banda de los Randall. Crocker utilizó su cuchillo de marinero para cortar con onda la campanilla y atar con él a Lady Birkenstall y tiró la plata al pozo. Cometió un crimen violento por el que se merece un castigo apropiado. El asesino es el Capitán. Vale, y el otro. Veamos el otro. Absorbe al capitán. Vamos a ver. Wiggins, could you ask Mr. Crocker to come here again, please? <laughs> Right away. Right away. Why did you make me come here again, Mr. Holmes? It is over. I know that it was you who killed Sir Eustace Brackenstall. What? I know. What? Because of the height at which the rope was cut. The knife used was a sea knife. The knots were sailors' knots, and not least the sheer force that was put behind the killing blow. And because you are the only one who knows Lady Mary Brackenstall in London. And because you love her. It's true. It is time for you to tell us the whole truth. I admit that I loved Mary madly from the first day that I met her. But I never did come to visit her. For I believed that she was in a happy household. When I talked to her maid who told me everything, I was insane with rage. I was due to set sail for six months away. I wanted only to see her again. But it turned into a damnable nightmare when he barged in. He dared raise his hand to her. He! Hmm. He was not even worthy of licking her boots. Oh, I regret nothing. I admit I killed the monster out of love for her. She will forgive me if she is able. Lady Brackenstall already forgave you. She said nothing. Mary. But that makes her an accomplice as well as her maid. Mm. It places her in danger yet again. Mr. Holmes. You would not have managed to protect her. Till I die, do you hear me? Here is a letter that sets everything clear. And it is the one that should be disclosed to the police. Hashtag I am complicit. the only culprit. <laughs> Mary had nothing to do with it. Now it is time to end this. Oh, te va a querer matar otra vez. En serio. No. Venga, 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 venga. No quiero que se mate el pobre hombre. Eso sería otro final. Please forgive me, Captain Crocker. I wished only to test your sincerity, and your words and deeds have far exceeded my expectations. See here, Captain Crocker. We'll do this in due form of law. You are the prisoner. Watson, you are a British jury. Captain Crocker, the evidence shows that you acted without premeditation and used reasonable force to protect an innocent victim from her husband's brutality. Hmm, your devotion pushed you to attempt to kill yourself in order to protect the one you love. Now, what say you, gentlemen of the jury? Not guilty, my lord. Vox Populi, Vox Dei. You are acquitted, Captain Crocker. So long as the law does not find some other victim, 
You are safe from me. Mr. Holmes. It is a great responsibility that I take upon myself, but I will give Lestrade an excellent lead, and if he can't avail himself of it, I can do no more. Come back to your lady in a year, and may her future and yours justify us in the judgment which we have pronounced mm. this night. No sé, no me gusta del todo. Inspector, I'm afraid that the murderers have escaped us. What? Do you mean to tell me that you <laughs> failed? Never thought I'd live to see the day. I mentioned the murderers, not the case. It is obvious that the crime was committed by three criminals who cannot be the Randalls. You really think so? You only need to find a gang of three thugs wandering around. I can trust you to do that. If they exist, I'll catch them. You'll find someone, I have no doubt of it. Goodbye, Inspector. No, no me gusta este final. No me gusta este final. Lo siento. Voy a retarlo. Perfect. A case that went smoothly for once. Pues sobre ruedas. Me quedo con este final. La acepto. Me da pena por ello. Pero la acepto. Sí. Personalidad neutral. Gente que solucionó el caso del mismo modo, 94%. Gente que hizo la misma elección moral, 35%. Pues ya está, hasta aquí el vídeo de hoy. Mm, ya terminé el caso, espero que le haya gustado el vídeo y mi elección. Eh, ¿Vosotros qué habréis puesto? ¿Absorberlo? Oye, vuelvo a la cárcel. <ríe> Bye. Un beso.